Well, we got a lot this week, but it's all great stuff. The Navy opens up applications for a program that pays for graduate and postgraduate education for senior enlisted, ship manning improvements, stay 21, and the Navy's pushing to expand CIP. First, the head of MPC says after the success is reached in reducing gaps at sea, detailers are now looking at how to continue to cruise ships earlier so complete strike groups are able to train as a unit. Now that we have the quantity about right on sailors, the next step is improving quality and experience. More to follow on that. Next, how much do you know about going officer through stage 21? If selected, you still get your pay and allowances at your current pay grade, and you're also eligible for advancement opportunities while going to school. Plus, you get $10,000 a year for tuition and book costs. That's a huge education benefit. The deadline for this year's application is July 1st. Keeping the focus on education, there's a program called AEV. That's Advanced Education Voucher. Think of it as beefed up TA, but for senior enlisted chiefs. And it's designed to be applied for bachelor's and master's degrees. The program offers up to 20,000 bucks for tuition books and fees for bachelor's degrees and 40,000 for masters. That's pretty huge for E7 and above and pretty much anyone that ever plans to put on anchors in their career. More information on the Navy College website and this wire. Finally, SECNAV and Navy leaders are looking to expand the career and mission program, lifting several restrictions on applications and increasing the yearly quotas. While not well known, CIP is a great deal. I have a shipping on it now getting his degree, but there's really no wrong reason to use it. Starting a family or even just the idea of taking a year off to travel or do whatever is completely valid. So just know that CIP isn't going away. It's expanding. And if an intermission plays into your career slash life plan, check out the application guidelines. For more info, look at this week's wire. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC1LA Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.